Alrighty everyone, welcome back to uh, Sin Survival. It is episode three, and today, as you can see in the comment uh, in the title, we're going to be doing farming with TNT. Uh, but first off, I just wanted to say that um, I'm using the Faithful Texture Pack. I'll put a link down below uh, to, uh, to so you can download that if you want. I originally down deleted my Minecraft uh, folder, so all my texture packs got deleted, and I forgot to put that in before I started making episode one. But it was in for episode two. Now today, I want to make an automated uh, wheat farm and also sugarcane farm. So the reason I'm in here is to uh, to pick up some items for that. So I'm going to grab. First of all, I'm going to make some pistons. So I'm going to make. Uh, I think I need 17 pistons in total. One of them is going to be a sticky piston. So I need some redstone as well. So I'll probably just take that much, and I'll see if I need any more or not. Um, Actually, I might take just a little bit more because I'm going to make some torches and some repeaters as well. I'm going to need some iron today as well. I think I think that should be enough for the moment. Yes. Yes, it should be. And then, all right, so we'll get on to it. We're going to make some TNT as well, so I'll grab some uh, some sand. I'll just take the whole stack for now and uh, whatever I have left over, I'll put back. And I'll go get some gunpowder as well. Alrighty, so I think I have enough to make ten there, or eight, one of the two. <laughs> so yes, it's uh, I believe it's f uh, whoops, this may not go as <laughs> as well as I planned actually. Uh, let's see what we can do. Nope. All right. <laughs> so let's see how we uh, we can go. Okay, so that worked. That did work sort of like I planned. I uh, need to put that there. Alright, so now I've put the uh, gunpowder in there and then I get my TNT blocks. So I've got eight blocks of TNT. Excellent. I'll put the rest of that sand away. Uh, there we go. Okay, excellent. So I've got my TNT to, uh, to blow some stuff up later with. And now I'll get on to making these chests. Um, so let's get back into it. So we'll go back in here. So I turn my iron blocks into back into the iron, which is easy craft it uh, there or in your own inventory crafting. Now for pistons, I'm sure most of you know how to do this, but uh, I'll just go through it so everyone can see. Uh, so you put redstone at the bottom, uh, piston, sorry, um, iron that will make up the piston in the center, uh, three rows, oh I don't have enough wood either, jeez I'm not, not very prepared for this episode am I? Uh, chuck some of that in there, so I've got and of course, <laughs> I'm all flustered, I suppose, is the best way to put it. So now, try that again. So i got the redstone and the iron, as well as the cobble. And then you just craft all the way across, and there you can see a piston comes up. If you shift-click it, you can um, bring it all down into your inventory. Or if you just, uh, just one-click it... Um, so without, if you click without shift, you can just pick up as many as you want, and then if you can shift click from there and pull the rest into your inventory. Oh, I think I made. Oh no, that's right. Sorry, I had one already. It's a bit confused there. Why I had why I had so many? Alrighty, so I've got my iron, I've got my redstone, I've got a few torches here, so I'm going to make some repeaters as well. I've made some stone, hopefully. Yep. So I've got plenty of stone here to make uh, to make repeaters with. I made it in the four furnaces, so it was a lot quicker. Now. We have to make some torches first, so we'll just make 20 torches, because you can always use torches. Uh, so yes, so that means I can make, um, I need more redstone, I can make 12 repeaters, which I think should be, actually no, won't, won't be enough, sorry. I'll have to make a few more. There we go. So now I can make a bit more. Alrighty, so I'm going. I'm going through everything that I have here, uh, so that you can see how to make everything. I know some people will know more than others, and I just wanted to make sure I go through everything a bit better, because uh, I, sh I guess my assume knowledge. I don't have my assume knowledge too high, because that way I could sort of make it a bit hard for some who have just come in. So there we go. I can make 21, which will give me plenty of uh, redstone uh, repeaters for what I want to do today. Now I also want to make a lever. Brilliant, Oop. brilliant, and I also want to make a button. So buttons one off, and the leather and the lever was one cobblestone and one stick. So now I have those. Uh, just going to quickly run through all my things. So I have some stairs, but I'm going to need a few more stairs as well. So these are quite easy. Um, if you don't know how to make them, 
this is how to do it. <laughs> so essentially, six squares like this in a stair formation for one of them, for all six of these blocks, you get four stairs. So not too bad. Um, yeah, I guess you could, you could complain, <laughs> but who would listen? All right, so I think we'll make one more set and that should be enough for today. Alrighty, so I've got that, some pistons, uh, stairs, repeaters. I've got some torches, which I need to actually make some more of now. I've used them all up. And there we go. So I've got some torches. Um, I've got some. I've got plenty of redstone with me. I'll have to grab some flint and steel. Um, I think I have one or two already, so I won't bother making one of them. Essentially, it's uh, you put a steel here and a flint here, or anywhere you want. It's uh, you have to just put it in diagonally from each other with the steel on top. Um, okay, so I'm just going to grab some more wood if I have any, uh, because I feel that this project's going to be a very in wood-intensive project, unfortunately. So there we go. Alrighty, now, um, we'll go upstairs and grab some flint. Alrighty, and we're back. So now I've picked up my uh, flint and steel, and we're going to head outside now. So hopefully there won't be too many uh, mobs outside. I've just slept to, uh, to bring it back today, and that way so it's a bit safer to work with. Uh, if you notice, I have actually removed some of these trees because I actually want to build it in this wall just here. So there's a cavern in it, and there's some coal up there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dig back into here, and I'm going to uh, have some fun with some TNT to clear out some space. Uh, I have built this design already um, previously, so hopefully I'll just be building to spec and I'll sort of go through what I want to do with it. Um, I think I want to stay a bit more in the middle, start at least a bit more in the middle. Uh, clear that out and we'll just sort of dig in a few blocks and we'll start placing some TNT and have some fun. Alrighty, as you can see I'm now back. I've grabbed a slime ball and I've also grabbed some buckets of water. Uh, I got my hoppy here. I brought, I brought a piece of glass as well because I'm going to put that in front of the sticky piston. So to make a sticky piston, you uh, you have a piston and a, a slime ball, and I think they can go. Oh, they have to go above. Sorry, it has to go above. Uh, it doesn't matter where you put it, but it has to go above. To take out your sticky piston. So I have one sticky piston. Oh, I threw that away. Pick it back up again, and so I have a sticky piston and the rest of my pistons. Uh, I'll put the redstone away for the moment and the repeaters because I don't sort of need this stuff at the moment, but I'll come back and get it when I do need it and start building. So, as you can see, I've pulled together everything that I need. So, I'm going to run up here and I'm grab the rest of the stuff that's on the floor. There we go. So, I'm 15 was here, so we go another five. Uh, and the max reach you can get at the moment with a pick is five from you, so. That's helpful to know in terms of how far you want to go in certain places. And then put one there. Okay, so now I'm going to pull out the TNT. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one there. This one there. Place one there. And place one there. Oop, and I block myself in. So you can break it, uh, and that won't light it. But if you hit it with a, uh, a red, if you hit it with redstone or something similar like that, it will light it. So we're going to put one here. One here, one here, and I've just done this again. I've blocked myself in. That's okay. So what I'm planning to do here is I'm going to light this one, I'm going to step outside, and I'm just going to watch it all explode through the center. Alrighty, so let's, uh, let's have a go. I'm going to run away. Hopefully that won't do too much damage. Alright, so that did a good amount of damage to everything around. Let's quickly run in and light it up so we don't get too much... Uh, don't get too, too many mobs spawning in here. Um, we did alright. Obviously, I think I overguesstimated it by about one block here. Yeah. So I think I needed... If I wanted to do it, I would have done it next time with about 12 blocks of TNT. And only put them sort of four blocks apart. But, you know, that worked quite well through there. So what I'll just go through now is I'm just going to leave off. I'm just going to clear out this and I'll come back in just a second. Alrighty, guys, welcome back. Now, I've gone ahead and cleared out the room. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put up a few more torches and make it look nice. Uh, so I'm just going to put up some torches here and there just to make sure nothing spawns in here while I'm here if I leave the room. Uh, not that I plan to at least, but uh, just in case. Let's get rid of some of these excess torches now. There we go. And I'm going to, these holes here, I'm just going to put the uh, stone brick as I like to. Um, so it looks 
kind of nice. I don't really like having sort of cobble showing, so but it's alright if it's showing underneath. And there we go. So all filled in, very wonderful room. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start building the frame, and uh, I'll need my cobble for that. Um, and it, sorry, I cobble my uh, my wood for that one. So I plan to use wood as sort of an, an outline slash a base, and then from there go on um, and see what I get from that. So I was counted out from the back. So at the back wall here is where gonna, all the water is going to drop. So that's going to be the first spot, and it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's going to drop on this one, and then this one here will be the next layer. So essentially, the water is going to flow down. And then it's going to wipe it out. I'm going to drop down here to a layer, and then I'm going to come out here, and then go to a stream, and then on. So this one it can be the full eight. So I go one, two, three. So include, sorry, including that one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's going to drop in this at this one here. So that's where I'm going to put it. So this is just the outline essentially. So now I'll just fill that in. Now I can make this any width. Oops, that one didn't go at all like I planned. It can be any width that I want, uh, so, um, so yes, I think I'm just going to keep it an 8x8 eight eight at the moment, just so that's easier, because the way I'm going to build this vertical bit is uh, is a little bit different as well. So as you can see, that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Oops. So there is the 8th, and then this will be the vertical pillar upwards to, to show that. So we'll just put one here and put another one right here. Excellent. All right, guys, I'm just going to be right back. Uh, yeah, I'll be with you in a second. All righty, guys, sorry about that last break. I was just feeling a bit off. Um, it's about 31 degrees in my room at the moment, so I just had to turn the air conditioning on and see how that goes now. So what I'm planning to do here is, oops, helps if I actually uh, <laughs> put that in. There we go. I know, just sometimes the the way you place logs, if you're too close, they'll just place upright, which is nice, but at the same time, it's really annoying sometimes. Alrighty, so as I said, this is the part, so this one here is where um, we'll need to be upper level, and then we'll come out this way. Whoops, alright, let's try it again. So I've nearly used up all of my for my first stack of wood, so very exciting with that then. Alright, so what I'm planning to do here is so we'll go up one. Uh, so what's what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have a water sort of coming from one source block and that's just gonna fall down, cascade, cascade, cascade here. And as it's cascading down sideways, it'll also cascade over the front and then it'll take out this way as well. Now so that starts I have one above, so I need to go, this one needs to be two, this one needs to be one, oh, and I've already hit the roof here, alright, so this, I did know that I would have to do this, so I'll just sort of dig this out as I as I go, um, and see how we go with that as well, so I'll actually probably need to take out this layer as well on the way up, because, um, <laughs> because it needs room for it to flow forward, otherwise it will just stay where it is. And that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, okay, so I just need to go get the other wood, and I'll be back. Whoop! <laughs> I won't be back. I'll just uh, I'll run over and grab it while I'm here. Uh, oh no, sorry, I even had it in my inventory. I'm just, sorry, guys, I'm a bit out of it today, but uh, I will be. Uh, I will continue, <laughs> and I will finish. Uh, the room's already starting to cool off, so that's a uh, a good good thing. Now, so I've got that one there. So, oops, I put one more actually. In that one. So pretty much what I'm going to do is just, I'm just building it up one at a time. So this goes up one, this one will have to be one higher than the one before, and essentially just go all the way along doing that. Alrighty guys, now I'm back. So I've built up the uh, the staircase here, as you can see. So essentially I'm going to have the water flow out over here, I'm going to drop down to this level, and flow out here. Obviously it's going to be one level higher because the dirt's going to be on it, but it's going to be flow out all the way to here, and then there'll be a nice water channel running through here with a, uh, a hopper and a chest at the end here. So I might go through and start putting in the dirt, and I'll show you what I mean by it's going to flow differently depending on where it is. 
So I'll grab that one. Actually, I'll bring this. I'll bring both, so that way I can put stuff. Um, so I can make a an unlimited spring here. I can pick up more water when I need to. Okay. So if I put water here, it's going to flow. It's going to flow over the edge. And it's going to flow all the way and stop right at the end there. So that that's exactly what I wanted wanted it to do. So if I go up here, climb all the way to the top. And I'll take that one out because that's not longer, no longer needed anymore. And I put one here. Um, as you can see, it's flowing all the way down, and it flows all the way down there as well. So I'll get rid of that, and hopefully it won't fall too much. So if you run down quickly, you should see that water sort of comes down in a torrent and then washes away all of uh, all of the weight to here. Uh, and then obviously this will be nice and long, and it'll just drop down into here. So yes, so that's how I wanted to. I want how I wanted that to work. Um, I guess we'll go up and do the uh, the wiring for the piston now at the top. So I'll take one of them with me, and I'll take that with me. Uh, I'll leave the the chest for later because that's literally the last thing I need to do for the day for that one. So we'll go up. We'll climb up the stairs. <laughs> it does make it quite easy for everything. So. What you can do, what I like to do is I'm just going to dig out behind and because it's sort of not going to be visible, I'm not going to really worry about how it's going to look uh, per se. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to grab my piston. So I want to hold it over this one because I'm going to have the water block here. It's going to come out here, flow over this one and then flow that way and flow that way. Actually, no, sorry, I made that mistake. I want to put it right here. So. When it's extended, it'll be covering that spot right there. And then now I can put in my stone bricks, put my water in, and there we go. So when I extend this piston, that'll work. Alrighty guys, sorry about that. I've just been a bit under the weather today, so I just had to uh, pull off for a minute and uh, I'll come, I had to come back. So now I'm back, so as you can see, we've got sort of all the dirt laid out. There's two levels here. And then we've got one little channel here, which I'll put a hopper right there, and then I'll put the chest just below it, so that we can get, uh, we can collect all of the, uh, all of the seeds and the wheat, and also later on we'll get the uh, the, the sugar cane to actually drop down into that same channel and then go into that same chest. So essentially we'll have everything going into the same chest, which will be great. So if we come up here, so I'll show you what we're going to do. So I'm going to put some wiring in that touches this, um, touches the sticky piston. And then that uh, will come down and grab that and lift up that and put it down, lift it up, put it down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to go sort of I'm going to dig my way through this wall. I'm going to bring it all the way down through here, and then I'm going to put the button right on this edge here. Um, so essentially, all I've got to do is flip the lever here, and I'll put a sorry button a lever here. So I turn the lever on, just watch it all pour down. Uh, and go. Well, the, uh, the actually the uh, the alternative to that is that I actually put a lever over here, but I think that's a lot further away. Um, though you can sort of see everything. I think I'm going to leave it over here so you can sort of see where it comes from. Um, so where it comes from, you can sort of see where it goes from. So what if I take that one there, place it here, and I take that water back? So now I've removed the uh, the uh, unlimited spring there and therefore uh, the eight blocks would make it travel to here so that works perfectly now I'll grab some redstone because that's what I'm going to need for this one um, probably need a fair few blocks I'll bring that one and I'll bring the lever and the button oh that's right the lever what am I talking about <laughs> alrighty so we'll uh, sort of I might dig in first, and then we'll see how we go from there. Because what I'm planning on doing is here, I'm going to build up a, I'm going to dig all the way up, and I'm going to dig all the way down. So I'm going to dig just about uh, about there, I believe. I think if I come straight along here, I'll have a uh, a channel that goes all the way out into the corner which is exactly where I want to be and that way I can put I can run a uh, a redstone line through here so as you can see just digging out uh, through here whoops I got rid of the torch that's okay so what I'll do is I'll put a, t a lever here onto a block a 
Actually, I might even need to go one more back now I'm thinking about that, because I don't want it to be visible. Alrighty. So that will solve that problem there. Now, as you can see, so I'll make all that redstone up, so I have plenty of redstone. I'll put a block here and a block there. And attach a, uh, a lever right there. So if we go to the other side here, and I put down another block so we can see. Move that out of the way. And as you can see, so now the, the redstone signal will work through that block and attach that one there. So now I can go there, 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 and then I can just bring it along. Now, did I, bring, I didn't bring any redstone repeaters. Now, a redstone signal will travel 16 blocks. I'll grab that torch before it disappears. And then it'll run out. But if you add a repeater in there, uh, it will continue on um, without any troubles at all. So I should probably grab the torches as well while I'm here because I'm going to go sort of vertically up using the torches. So you see, I've, I come around here, come around, and then I come along here until... Oops, run out of redstone. So you come along here until you sort of get no signal at all. Actually, I wonder if I can get all the way over here without even using one. Ah, there you go. So you can sort of see that it's used, and then from here it won't be used. So I'll just take that one out there, and I'll replace that with a redstone repeater. And there you go, see? And then it comes back to full strength here and does it again. So now, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to go all the way up here using... Um, using redstone as well. Oh, okay. Didn't know that I was coming out so close, so I may not go any further out. I'll just go straight up here and I can seal this in here. Try and figure out how I'm going to do it. So you know what, I'll just break that for now. And what I'll do is come along here, put a block here, and then a torch on top. Sort of move some of these tools out so I have plenty of room. So, redstone as well. Okay, so as you can see, so when the power goes into this block, it, uh, it turns off this torch, and then when it's not powered, the torch is its own light. And what will happen now is when I go that block, um, uh, let's, see how, let's see how to do this. I'll get rid of this one for now, but essentially I'm going to build my way all the way to the top and putting in torch, light, torch, light. See that one's off, and then this one will be on, and do the same again. To get above me. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're going to do the same again. So we go up, up. So there goes the light. It's getting really dark now. Now it went off. I'll leave that. Leave a torch here so we can actually see what we're doing. I can put one up there. So that way we can see. Keep going up, and then I'll put one just there. And again, comes up. So essentially, every the, the current will be alt alternating. And uh, when we get to the top, if we need to alternate it again, we can put the same sort of thing with the with the uh, torch on the side of the block, and that'll that'll um, make the current go the opposite way. I'll just dig up that one there and that one there. And I think if we come across at this level, oops, sorry, I've knocked out that torch. I think if we come across at this level, it should come out where I want it to, or somewhere similar. Alrighty. So I'm fairly happy with that. What I'll probably end up doing is I'll, uh, I'll build it up a little bit. Uh, I'll just pull out my other torch so I can, other other tool so I can do this properly. As you can see, we're getting close to the surface here, so I obviously don't want to go up too much more. Otherwise, we'll uh, we'll end up with some problems. Now, what I can do is I can add one there. I actually want to add a block. Oops. I actually want to add a block right here underneath so that when I put the um, when I'm going to put a redstone repeater right here it's actually touching the piston block so that when I come round I'm just going to put another one here so that this way when I go one two three and come all the way back here as you can see so this is on at the moment it's going to be the opposite of what it is so um, let's grab these blocks again, and I'll put this right here. Uh, actually, wait one second, I'll just dig this out just in case, so I can get back here. Uh, I'll put that right there, and then I'll put that like that. 
that's that's off at the moment but when i go downstairs and connect it back up it'll turn back on and that's what i want uh, for it to do Alrighty, so i think that's everything up here what i might just do is i'll seal this in a little bit if i can without affecting anything too much i don't think so yeah so that's how that's going to work and then i'll come down here i've sort of i've lit this tunnel up enough now that uh, if i want to get back up here i certainly can if i wish to so i'll sort of dig down uh, i know digging down is probably the worst thing you can do in minecraft but at the same time i'm sort of doing it <laughs> when, when i know what's below me so that's okay so I'll seal that in and sort of fill this in here and as you can see the water's all the way coming all the way down which is exactly what I want and it's going to come out push all the uh, wheat this way and seeds and therefore end up here so now if I turn that off oh, actually that's not going to work anyway because I've still got the uh, the block here so if I put that right there I uh, made that mistake so essentially when this is on the water will stop if I come back here we should be able to see that it's slowing down yes it is it's slowing down that it's stopping <laughs> so what i'll do here is i'll just put a block like that and there we go so that's sealed in you can't see any of the wiring and i can turn it back on or we'll just jump over here and watch it sort of cascade down uh cascade down the stairs there and it comes all the way out exactly how i wanted it to do Alrighty, so essentially we have our we have our clearing system in, in place, we have our dirt in place, and now it's time to put in the hopper. So this is where I'm going to grab sort of uh, two stairs for this, the hopper, and I'm going to make some new chests because I'm currently using this chest here. So, um, so I should build a, a quick crafting table, which is the four of that. I'm sure everyone knows how to make that if you've been playing Minecraft longer than your first night because that sort of really really useful uh, I will need 16 pieces of wood to make two chests or a double chest so essentially what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take out that piece of wood these two pieces of wood here and I'm going to take out that one there that one and that one there so essentially the two chests are going to sit one and then two right there and then I'll bring the hopper with me and we'll just jump up whoops <laughs> Bit harder to jump up that way, so I'm essentially want to attach it to the back of that one there. So if you had a look at what I was doing, I was pressing shift and then I and then I placed it uh, and it will face the chest so that way um, we won't have to worry about um, it going down or touching the block behind or these other blocks. So if you the way you the way you place a hopper will actually be the way that it goes. And I don't know if you can see it. Actually I might just destroy that one so you can see it's actually facing this way. The bottom is actually facing out this way opposed from being either down left right or back so yes yeah, so that's they're all going to come in here and i'm actually going to change this front bit because i actually want it to be all wood um wood planks that is rather than uh rather than normal wood so that when i put the stairs in it actually looks the same and i've sort of got myself in a hole here because i'm stuck but i can uh, i can figure that out by i can solve that by just putting that in Alrighty. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these extra, um, oh, jump up here. So I'm going to place these extra stairs this way and that way. It looks like a full wooden plank, and then you can, but you can't see. Um, sorry, it, falls, it looks like the wooden planks, but you can actually still open the chest. And I'm, I think I'm going to take this floor down another level uh, so that this is at feet height. Um, Yes, because I have plenty of room to do so out there um, that I won't sort of affect the entrance in by doing that. So essentially what I'm saying is I'm going to bring it down to about this level, bring the floor down to that level at least, so that way when you're walking around, you're walking around on the ground like this, and you can open the chest easier. And if I drop, uh, we'll just drop that in there, and the water takes it all the way along, and when it gets to the hopper there, it'll be sucked in. There we go. So if you're looking there, so it goes into the item hopper, and then it gets placed in the chest, and that's brilliant. That's exactly what we want. Alrighty, so 
Moving on from this, we actually need to plant our seeds. So I'll bring all the seeds with me. We can put some of the redstone back and the torches uh, and the repeaters. I don't need anything else, I don't think, anymore. No, I've used all the water I need, so I can put one of them back and one of those back. All right, I'll bring some food with me as well. And now that I have that, I also need to... Now it's time I'm going to plant some of the wheat. I'm going to need to build myself a hoe, so... You can't plant anything on non-tilled earth, except for sugarcane uh, and cactuses which need sand. Um, but essentially, you, you till the earth, and that way they will become they become able to place uh, place seeds on them. If they're not tilled, then you can't place the seeds, obviously. And one thing I've omitted from this build, which I should have done before, was I have actually forgotten about it, is that I actually need to put in um, <laughs> I actually need to put in water blocks in the side so the soil here actually becomes hydrated. And what I meant to do was I meant to put it in here. So I'm going to have to seal that in, uh, put a block here, I'm going to put a water block here, and that way all the um, all the soil here will be become hydrated which allows the, the wheat to grow a lot quicker and also when it's cleared this the tilled soil still stays tilled there we go so what I'll do is I'll just quickly get my water buckets out and I'll start filling these holes and actually you know what I'll make a, a spring here because otherwise I'll have a lot of trouble so I'll pull that one up pull that one up and put one there Put one there, and the final one will be if I take that block away and that block away, so I can get rid of the infinite spring because I don't want that. Oh no, there they are. They were hiding from me. Yep, they were hiding from me. So now that's all sealed and done. I'll go get the rest of the blocks that I want, the stone bricks, to fill it in, and uh, we'll go from there. So literally just place blocks like that. Um, another block like that, even though that doesn't matter so much because it will be covered uh, by by the the wooden the wooden plank there. Alrighty, so the same thing here. Just chuck that in just to fill it in for all purposes. Oops. <laughs> Sometimes you know you can. I seem to misplace blocks all the time nowadays. But yeah, so fill that in, and same with this one. Fill that in. Put a torch on. The torch on so we get the most light that we can so now you can see that we've got all the blocks uh, covered and all the blocks so all the blocks should be covered by the hydrogen as you can see it goes a bit darker as you can see in between that so here we go let's keep digging away and it does you can see it because the till block is slightly less than a um than a normal dirt block but it just uh it's just a minor sort of thing that you'll notice but it for me, it doesn't really matter that much. So as you can see, just go along here and just keep placing it in. You can see the dirt level here, which is slightly annoying, but uh, that's not too bad. Another alternative I could have done, actually, now I think about it, was I could have put the water source blocks under there. Um, and maybe I might do that if I extend this any further around. But I don't think I will extend it, because this is how much wheat do you really need for one person. There you go, as you can see, so all the blocks are starting to hydrate, which is great. Uh, one problem you get with uh, with jumping around on soil is that you can actually compact it and remove the till, so, tilled soil. So what I'm going to have to do as well is going to have to build a little ramp up here. So essentially I can walk up, jump on here, because when you wash everything away, you have to come back up and plant all the seeds again. Um, so yeah, and there's no problem planting seeds on unhydrated soil. It's just they will grow a lot faster on hydrated soil and with a higher light uh, light level as well. So as you see, just planning all these out and seeing how we go. All right, so excellent. And then we'll do the same thing here. I should end up with about, I think, eight or 16 seeds left, I think, in total, uh, because that the row above us is only seven long instead of eight, because I wanted it to come down the next level rather than just stay where it was. Alrighty. Do we have left? It will be 16, yes. Alright, so as you can see, we've got all of our wheat planted now. Okay. There's no problem jumping off a block that's tilled, it's just jumping onto a block that's tilled that uh, that can cause some problems. Alrighty, so now I've done that, what I might do is I might actually use this platform here, might actually use this as my platform to climb. So I'll make some stairs here, 
come up to this level, extend it out, sorry about that, and then come back up here a bit higher. So I'll go grab those stairs and we'll see how we go. Grab those stairs, and you know what, I'm going to make some wooden planks, so uh, wooden slabs as well while I've got the chance, so it can look quite nice. Now I'll dig it down just one to start, because I did mention that I'm going to move the floor down a little bit uh, from where it currently is to where it probably will be in the end, um, just because I believe that... Um, I'd like to have this at this level so that it's easy to open and it's sort of not below the floor which sort of seems a bit weird in my 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 thoughts. So you come across here and then I'll put the wooden slabs right here and then we'll need to go up a level here so hopefully I can place this correctly. Absolutely not. There we go. There we go. And then I'll put the wooden slab right there. As you can see, that works out fine. Now I'll just put, make the rest of those, and I'll just fill this in. Actually, now I'm thinking about it, that looks sort of silly, so I'm going to take that out, and I'm just going to put that as normal woods, normal wood slabs, wood planks, as it would be, <laughs> as they're called. Oh, I've literally run out of, run out of them all. Alright, well, I'll come and fill that in in a minute then. So as you can see, all the wheat's starting to grow. It's going to go through all the stages of growth. Uh, and when sort of, you don't have to wait till all of them are done, but you definitely should wait till most of them are done because it's sort of wasting sort of the growing state. And you, you, can, you can jump down and selectively harvest, but the defeats the whole point of having this water block up there to, um, to harvest them all for you, to essentially make harvesting easy and all you got to do is actually replant so there we go got to get my food back sorry if anyone <laughs> looks it was looking at my hunger bar going you've got no food you've got no food yes uh while i was teaching is probably while i was going through it it's probably easy just to do it that way now so i've made this all here what i'm planning to do for and another episode will be to build another level on top of this and um and that's where the sugarcane farm will go and essentially I'll have some holes here and that's where pretty much all the sugarcane that falls off will be directed down here into the stream and then straight into the water. Now I think that's it for this episode. I'll, uh, I'll leave this for now. I understand it's a bit of an unfinished project but it did take a bit of a bit of time and also I wasn't feeling so great so there we go. It's a little hole in the wall now so I think when we come back to the next, next episode we might actually build a Oh, something just fell from the sky, I didn't even know what that was. Oh, okay. Um, next time we come back, I might sort of dig out that area a bit more, put a big glass window at the front, put a name on it, and then uh, and make it look a bit nicer. For the next episode, we'll probably put in some windows and a door and make it look really nice and take out that next layer of floor. And, uh, and yeah, if I've helped you today at all, if you like what I build, if you want to make a comment about what I built and sort of how to improve it or what was wrong about it, uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, if you like what I've done, please like it. Um, and uh, if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. But uh, otherwise, have a good day. See you now.